Hello, and welcome to another crack a pack Today we will be opening another Kamigawa Neon Dynasty draft booster. I will be reading every single card in the pack, and then making a pack one, pick one, as though I were in a draft. If you would like to skip ahead to see the entire pack contents and my pick, I will be including timestamps below. But otherwise, let's get cozy and relax with some calming Magic the Gathering ASMR as I read through each and every card. Let's get started. Lethal Exploit. One black. Instant. Common. Target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. It gets an additional minus one, minus one until end of turn. For each modified creature you controlled as you cast this spell. Yeah, that's a fine spell. I think you can easily win combat using this spell, or just straight up destroy a creature. And depending on the number of modified creatures you control, it scales upward really nicely. Unstoppable Ogre. Two, red. Artifact creature, ogre, warrior, common, 4-1. When unstoppable ogre enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Toma never met a door he didn't hate. Ninja's kunai, 1 Artifact, Equipment, Common. Equipped creature has one tap. Sacrifice Ninja's Kunai. Ninja's Kunai deals three damage to any target. Equip one. A point to pierce flesh and spirit alike. It's all right. I definitely don't take this card very highly. I don't really even know if it makes the cut for my decks very often, but it's not too bad. Greater Tanuki. Four. Green. Green. Enchantment creature, dog, common, 6-5. Trample, channel, 2 green. Discard greater Tanuki. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. The kami permit few mortals to dwell in the Jukai forest, but the clever, playful Tanuki are welcomed as friends and guardians. I mean, this is a very big threat late in the game, early in the game, smooths out your mana if you need. Dramatist's Puppet, 4. Artifact Creature, Construct, Common, 2-4. When Dramatist's Puppet enters the battlefield, for each kind of counter on target permanent, put another of that kind on it, or remove one from it. Who cares if the story's true, as long as people are entertained? 
Shin Tawashi Street Performer. I don't think I've ever played this card. Just doesn't seem good enough for the four mana that it costs. Arm Guard Familiar, one blue artifact creature, equipment, beast, common, two one, ward two. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus one, and has ward two. Reconfigure, four. It's playable, definitely. Kitsune Ace, one white. Creature, fox pilot, common, two, two. Whenever a vehicle you control attacks, choose one. That vehicle gains first strike until end of turn. Untap Kitsune Ace. Oh, sorry. Were we racing? Yeah, I think if you are in a vehicle's deck, a lot of them are quite large and that first strike would be very powerful. Fearless Samurai, two red, creature, human samurai, common, two three. Menace, whenever a samurai or warrior you control attacks alone, the next spell you cast this turn costs one less to cast. I fear I have run out of worthy opponents. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not wild about the samurai mechanic, but this creature having menace is definitely an upside. Makes it a good target for putting equipment or enchantments or combat tricks on. Befriending the moths. Three white. Enchantment Saga Common. Chapters 1 and 2. Target creature you control gets plus 1 plus 1 and gains flying until end of turn. Chapter 3. Exile this saga, then return it to the battlefield transformed under your control. Imperial Moth, Enchantment Creature, Insect, 2-4, Flying. The moths of Iganjo were once no different from any other great beast of Kamigawa's wild. It took years of patience and dedication to convince them to bear riders. History of the Empire. Roaring Earth, one green, enchantment, uncommon. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature or vehicle you control. Channel X green green, discard Roaring Earth. Put X plus one plus one counters on target land you control. It becomes a zero zero green spirit creature with haste. It's still a land. Yeah, that card has actually impressed me. I don't place too much weight on enchantments that come in and don't affect the board right away, but if you're able to play this early, and you still have a lot of land drops coming, this card can be very powerful.
malicious malfunction, one black black, sorcery, uncommon. All creatures get minus two minus two until end of turn. If a creature would die this turn, exile it instead. That, a minor test, nothing more. Incomplete flesh is weak. Jingataxis. Seismic wave. Two red. Instant. Uncommon. Seismic wave deals two damage to any target and one damage to each non-artifact creature target opponent controls. Step carefully, Imperial. Even the earth rises against you. Seems alright. Maybe more of a sideboard card? If you end up playing against someone who is generating a lot of 1-1 spirit tokens. I think some of the ninjas have one toughness, but some of them might be artifacts as well, so... Yeah, I think... The two damage to any target is definitely good, but if you can maximize the other one damage going across their board, I think this card could be pretty good. L, the Dawn Sky. Three, white, white. Legendary creature. Dragon spirit. Mythic rare. Five, four. Flying. Vigilance. When Al, the Dawn Sky dies, choose one. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put any number of non-land permanent cards with total mana value, four or less from among them, onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Put two plus one plus one counters on each permanent you control. That's a creature or a vehicle. Yeah, that is an excellent creature. Um, I'd be happy to draft that for sure. We have a foil befriending the moths to go with our other one. Thornwood Falls, land, common. Thornwood Falls enters the battlefield tapped. When Thornwood Falls enters the battlefield, you gain one life. Tap, add green or blue. And a double-faced card token. All right. So here is our entire pack. Kind of interesting that we opened two of the same saga. I do like this saga, but I don't think it is significantly better than the rare that we opened. So this is certainly a commitment to white, with the double white casting cost. However, I think it is well worth it. As a 5-4 flyer with vigilance, it poses a very big threat to the opponent that they must deal with, and then unless they exile it, you still get value off of this card. So, 
That is what I would take from this pack. If it weren't for that card? Um, I'm not sure. I know Greater Tanuki is definitely a good addition to a lot of different decks, um, especially if you're in an enchantment deck. Um, but I think early on, I would probably be more removal-oriented. We have two pretty good spells here. I think malicious malfunction is good, but it does cost two black, so it's not as easy to splash in if you are not in a primarily black deck. It also does affect your own creatures. Um, you may lose some to it. Or if you play it pre-combat to try and clear your opponent's board, now you're affecting how much damage you're able to shove through. Kind of a liability, although it does exile cards. So if you are against a card that has an effect when it dies, the exile effect is something to consider. If we're early on in the draft, I would probably take a lethal exploit over a malicious malfunction. It is instant speed. It's only one black requirement. And getting modified creatures is pretty easy, so I think oftentimes it can do more than the minus two, minus two. So, yeah, I think this would be my other pick if it wasn't for our dragon. But let's shuffle up the rest of the pack. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss a video. I have more crack -a packs on the way, which I upload every Monday at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, and I'll have some other videos sprinkled throughout, including tours of my EDH decks, secret layer unboxings, and some other things that I'm really excited to share with you. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.